Hello everybody. Okay, today uh, I want to show you uh, how you can add a great graphic user interface and touch touch screen to your projects uh, with uh, very uh, low uh, number of working hours by using Nextion uh, human machine interface displays. These are great uh, little displays created by Itad stu Studio. Uh, they have various uh, sizes from 2.4 inches up to I think 7 inches or, or maybe even more. Uh, there are smart displays that you can program to work uh, whatever you want to, uh, to show user interface. Uh, you can see on the back side you have a SD card uh, connector. Uh, SD card you do not use as a memory, you, you just uh, use it as uh, help to program your display, to transfer a new program inside the display. Uh, this display communicates with your microcontroller or existing uh, device uh, by using serial port. As you can see, I opened uh, one page. They sell these displays on uh, AliExpress. They are very cheap. You can get one for only $15. For example, the one that we use here is uh, 3.5 inch. It's $25 price. And of course, you can buy them on official Nextion uh, website over here. You, you can see uh, there are various uh, diagonals of the displays uh, okay uh, so for this display you want to uh, add a user interface to your microcontroller project but maybe microcontroller is small one doesn't have much memory so you you cannot make uh, complex and big programs for driving uh, uh, other type of displays that are not uh, smart displays. For this one, uh, we used uh, just a cheap uh, USB to serial uh, converter that I also bought from AliExpress for I don't know one dollar or so, and uh, this is enough to power this display to use these converters. Uh, power supply and ground to uh, to power up this display. Okay, when you make a development like this, usually uh, you don't want to develop two types of codes at the same time, microcontroller code and display code. So uh, what we will do, we will use a serial port uh, terminal to actually uh, to debug our code on display and do not have so we can do it faster and don't have to debug uh, two two codes at the same time once you have code on display up and running and know how to drive it then you can use microcontroller to to connect it with this display uh the dock light i use for many of my projects i use it for a long time it's great program for uh, both uh, for serial communication but also for uh, RS485 mod bus USB uh, heat device and but also for TCP IP or UDP terminal uh, for programming for programming uh, display uh, you have uh, integrated development develop, uh, development environment that you can download from ITAD uh, studio website you can find it very easily using Google and here is what we made on our display you can see also on on our program we added uh, this uh, scale background we added this uh, central gauge here uh, text field under this gauge and then we have a slider and two buttons for minimum and maximum so we, for any interaction we make on our display we will get some data on serial port and we will see this data in dock light and react to this data automatically or by the button click and see how the display uh, reacts to the, this uh, button clicks inside the dock light okay uh, here is also the dock light uh, we just connected it used the correct uh, serial port COM13 in my case 
9600 is default baud rate for this display all the other settings by default are ok and we press play just to start communication now when I change something on the display for example this slider we made uh, this slider send the value of the slider when changed inside uh, inside Nextion editor under slide we have touch release event where we converted value of the slider inside text variable and print this variable and presenter sign to serial port and we can see this clearly cl uh, clearly in doc light doc light terminal uh, we don't only receive this number from the display we added a timestamp on every time we, we receive this package but also a custom made uh, comment that is added behind this value so uh, we can you can make comment to yourself so you know what you are looking at afterwards when you take a look at this log uh, we did this at receive sequence we define the receive sequence when, whenever we receive a percentage sign we added comment slider value change to this value for example and checked uh, to make an additional break to go to the new line and make time step each time we received one percenter sign so every time we send we send a new value of the slider we can see custom made uh, comment and the time when this was received so it's great it's great thing to have this uh, custom automatically tr triggered comments so whenever you receive different commands that are maybe not so readable to the human that are uh, adjusted only so machines use it maybe some binary data you can recognize this data and output the comment inside uh, doc light so very very helpful when working with unreadable data but also like this to know what what has just uh, uh, happened now okay the other thing that we defined uh, is when uh, minimum or maximum button is pressed what we do, did we do here when minimum is pressed mi mean uh, this touch button uh, we just send a uh, word min like um, minimum and for the max we just send a uh, word max nothing else and we let a dock light automatically recognize this and send command back to the uh, next on display to move this gauge to the minimum or maximum value so it's not done automatically we made a uh, dock light do this how did we do do that we will show you now okay when we receive minimum min here so we define the receive sequence we say every time min is received we'll again make custom comment move out to minimum position and make a timestamp and line break but also we defined answer so we said every time min is uh, recognized send back a send sequence that we named gauge min so let's see how does this work okay when i press min you can see on display it goes to minimum on max it goes to maximum as you uh, you can see now also for the max we send only this send sequence gauge max and these send sequences gauge max and min are defined in send sequences so in dot light you have receive sequences send sequences so for the send, sequ send sequence we just defined uh, gauge max as sequence that sends gauge dot value equals 230 30 which is an angle and whenever you want to send the command to next on display you must send uh, three times 255 uh, byte at the end or hexa ff or if you go decimal di uh, to display this you can see 255 three times then display knows this is a command i should do something with it it will parse string before it and you can see actually move oh we disconnected dock light that is why it's not moving on touching the button so you can see this is a proof that actually dock light is 
recognizing this min max string and sending back to command to move this gauge to the desired position. So when we again start dot light, again it is working. So okay, then uh, so we, we have sent sequences for maximum minimum position, but also we have a send sequence defined for custom position. For custom position, we used a uh, joker signs in uh, send sequences. So we send gauge dot value equals and then we use wild cards a question mark for one character must be typed in and two uh two signs for two joker signs wild cards for one or zero characters that must be added and of course every every command must be ended with three times 255 bytes sent so when we press this command to gauge custom position it expects one from one up to three bytes uh, command so we will press it and you get uh, you get this dialog that says okay you must have minimum one color character and maximum three characters that you will send in this predefined string so we will go to 150 for example angle and when we press send or press enter you will see that God went to 100, 150 degrees position when we go to 120 and press enter it goes back to 120 so it's great when you have commands that most of the command it's always the same you just change one small part of the command so you have this joker sign says okay i don't have to type in all of this i'll type in only the value we want to change everything else is fixed so we send it always the, the same bytes we send we change only the things that we type in here okay and also on this display we have this ready text what is this ready text it's also defined this in the side next in display as a text uh yeah i want to say why did we say god that value because we named this element god here in next year editor also we named this text field we defined its name text field so when we want to change it we just use dot light we can we can actually type in and we can enable keyboard console and we can type in uh, now whatever we want we can type in uh, text field dot uh, txt equals and what we want to change but it's much much easier to use send sequences for example we defined here text field dot txt equals we define text uh, sequence with joker signs they can be shorter or longer and we end command as always with 255 byte send uh, three times so let's test this change text field when we send it he asks for replacement for joker signs so we will type in for example uh hello world hello world when you press enter you can see on display hello world is written on display uh, so you, uh, now you can see how uh, this display is communicating with uh, external device for example a microcontroller you can see how you can send uh, data to your microcontroller how you can send commands how you can recognize this data and send back commands to your display to for example move this gotch uh, position and how to send for example command to change this text so in a few minutes you learned how to add the uh, graphic user experience uh, to your uh, to your devices with uh, you you can you still use a uh, low memory very low power microcontrollers and uh, you use only this display to make this more attractive uh, graphical user interface for uh, for user of course uh, okay and we use dock light uh, which is great once you get used to it you will never use any other uh, terminal program I'm sure because here you have everything we have receive sequences you can recognize them you can make this uh, very useful uh, uh, very useful custom comments that you can end each time some sequences recognized you have timestamps 
uh, you can send back send sequences, predefined send sequences automatically when some rece receive sequence is recognized, but also you can trigger send sequences by yourself by clicking one of them, or you can have send sequences that you can uh, adapt each time, uh, each time you can adjust them uh, to, to your needs, so only one part of this send sequence uh, is changed while the rest of the send sequence is remained the same each time uh, okay i hope you i hope you liked this video please like share if you liked it make uh, comments i will try to answer all of your comments thank you for watching goodbye